Java and Python are the two most widely used languages in the world. And if you are a beginner and you are looking to start off with a programming language, you must be wondering which language should I choose? Should I choose Java? Should I choose Python? Well, this video is exactly on that if you are a beginner. So let the battle start between Java and Python. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy, a free initiative by Great Learning. You can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion. Check out the link in the description of the video below. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you do not miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or suggestions and I'll respond to your comments. So we'll start off with this metric of speed. So Java is extremely fast when compared to Python. Now, why is that? Well, that is because Java is a compiled language and Python is an interpreted language. And whenever we compare a compiled language with an interpreted language, the compiled language is always faster. So as you see, Java over here is proudly boasting that it is faster. And well, Python just sees that it has got other skills. Huh. So this is where Java wins. So Java's got one point, Python's got zero. Now let's see if Python is able to catch up with Java. So the next metric will look at the length of code. So Java over here, it states clearly that, you know, if you're writing with Java, then it'll probably take longer and you'd have to write more lines of code. And over here, Python boosts, well, keep it short, silly. So whenever you're writing code in Python, the code snippet or the code is very small. And that is why Python is preferred by majority of the coders when compared to Java. Now we'll just see an example of both Java and Python. So first we'll start with Java. I'm going to open up an IDE of Java, which is called as Eclipse. Now, as you see over here, if I have to write something, this is the basic structure of Java, which I'll definitely need. So I would have to need something called as a class. I would also need something called as the main method and whatever code I'm writing should be inside this main method. So this is some predefined code, which you definitely need to have. If you do not have this, you will not be able to write your code. Now inside this, let's say if I would want to print out something onto the screen, I'll write down system.out.println and inside this, I'll just write this is Sparta and let me put in a semicolon over here. Now let me hit on run and let me hit OK. And as you see, we've been able to print out this is Sparta. But to write this one line or to print out this one line onto the screen, I had to add all of this prefix over here, system.out.println. And apart from this, I also needed a main method and also a class over here. Now, if I do not have this main method, if I do not have this class, and if I do not ha have the system.out, I would not be able to directly print out this is Sparta onto the screen. So this is why Java takes a bit longer whenever you're writing code. Let's compare the same thing with Python. So now I'll open up Jupyter Notebook, which is one of the IDs for Python. So I've opened up Jupyter Notebook over here. Now I'll go ahead and try to print out the same thing. So for this, I'll just write down print. And inside this, I will write this as Sparta. I'll give it a couple of exclamation marks and then I'll hit on run. And then over here we have this is Sparta. Well, as simple as that, you do not need a class. You do not need a method and you do not also need any prefix or suffix surrounding this print statement. And that's why it's very easy whenever you're comparing or whenever you're writing code with Python. So it seems that Python has caught up with Java. Now it's one one. Next up, we have statically typed versus dynamically typed languages. Hmm. So which would be better over here? Let's actually understand what is a statically typed language and what is a dynamically typed language. So Java is a statically typed language. So when I say statically typed language, I would mean that whenever you're creating variables or any objects in Java, you would have to clearly state what is the type of that variable or what is the type of that object. 
So here, as you see, I am creating a variable called as a and I'm storing the value 10 inside this variable. But you also see over here that I am explicitly stating the data type of this variable. So here I write down int a is equal to 10. So I'd have to explicitly state that this is an integer variable and in this integer variable, I'm storing the value 10. Now, when we compare the same thing with Python, well, Python is a dynamically typed language. And since Python is a dynamically typed language, I do not have to give in this explicit type. So I just can write a is equal to 10 and Python interpreter will automatically figure out that the value which I'm storing in this variable is an integer and it will identify that variable a is also an integer. So this is one advantage where of Python being dynamically typed. Uh, but since Java is statically typed, this would mean that Java is also faster. Now, why is that? Well, if all of these data types are being, you know, they are being verified at runtime. Now that would take a lot of time, isn't it? But here what is happening is all of these data types, they're being verified at compile time. So during the execution, it takes longer, but during execution over here, it takes shorter period of time. And that is why Java is faster when compared to Python. So it sort of seems that, you know, Python also has an advantage and Java also has an advantage. So let's give them one, one each. So now we have a tie. So Java is at two points. Python is also at two points. But before we go ahead to the other metric, let me actually show you about how Python is typed in an ID and Java is typed in an ID. So let me go to uh, Java first. Let me open up Eclipse notebook. So this is Eclipse and here what I shall do is I'll create a variable. I'll have int a and inside this I'll store the value 10. Now after this I will print out a and I'll just hit on run over here and let's see what do we get. So here we see that we get the value 10. Now this is very simple. What we've done over here is we've created a variable a, we've stored the value 10 and we have explicitly stated that this is an integer type variable. Now let's do the same thing in Python as well. So now I'll open up Jupyter Notebook. So here what I'll do is I'll just write down a is equal to 10, but I'll not give in the data type. So let me hit on run over here. Now let me actually see if this is an integer. So I'll have type of a, I'll hit run and you see that this is an integer. Hmm, this is interesting. Now what I'll do is I'll have a is equal to inside this. Let me write down Sparta. Now let me hit on run. Now let me also, what I'll do is I'll print out a over here. You see that now I've printed out a string value. Let me also check the type of this type of a. You see that this is a string. So what happens with the dynamically typed language and especially Python over here is the type of the variable would depend on the value which you are storing in it. So here when I store 10 in A, A is an integer type variable. Similarly, when I'm storing Sparta in A, A is a string type variable. Now let me go to Java again. And this time what I'll do is I will, let me just make this A to be equal to let me change this to be equal to Sparta. So what I have right now is int a is equal to Sparta and I am printing out a. Let me hit on run. Let me hit OK. So as you see, errors exist in required projects. So I'll hit on proceed. You see type mismatch cannot convert from string to int. This is because I have a variable a, but the integer type of the variable is, but you know, the type of the variable is integer and I'm trying to store a string value. So this is not possible. So here what I'd have to do is remove this and I will make this as string A. And this time when I print this out, I will get the result. I'll have Sparta. So this is the difference between a dynamically typed language and the statically typed language. So Python is simpler, but Java is faster. Next up, we have indentation. Now there are a lot of programming languages where indentation is not that important. So whether you give the indentation, you do not give the indentation or whether you give a space or whether you give a tab that doesn't really matter. And Java is one of those languages. So as Java sees, it's free flow, bro. But Python is a strict disciplinary region. So you have to properly give indentation wherever it's required. And if you do not give it, well, you'll get an error. So Python is a strict taskmaster whenever it comes to indentation. And let's see an example for both of these. 
So first I'll open up Java again. Now here what I'll do is I will actually have an if statement and uh, let me just write down if 10 is less than 20 and here I'll have system dot out dot print ln. I'll just write down I am Java. And now what I'll do is I'll just hit on run. I'll actually select this. I'll hit on OK. And now you see we have been able to print out I am Java. Now, well, let's say if I give in a number of tabs over here and I hit on run again, now I get the same result. Now let me take it back over here and now let me hit on run. Again, you'd see that I've got the same result. So irrespective of whether you give indentation, you do not give indentation, you give hundreds of indentations, it doesn't really matter when you're working with Java. Now let's look at the same thing in Python as well. So here I'll have if 10 is less than 20. Now as you see, this Jupyter Notebook automatically actually gives you indentation and here I'll write down I am Python. Let me hit this. So now we get this result, but what if I remove this indentation and now if I click on run, you see that I get an error and the error is expected an indented block. So if you're working with Python, well, Python is a strict taskmaster and you have to make sure that you properly giving spaces or tabs wherever it is required. Next up, we've got applications of Java and Python. So whenever we talk about Java, Java is for those people who are heavy into coding. So let's say if you are looking for those SDE roles, software development engineer roles or full stack development or backend development, this is where learning Java would be of great use to you. But let's say if you consider yourself to be more of a jack of all trades guy or more of an analytics guy, then Python should be a go-to language because you can do a lot of things with Python. You can do web development, you can do full stack development, and you can also implement data science and ML applications with Python. So if you're looking at a more versatile language, then I'd say go ahead and prefer Python. But if you're looking at a more robust coding heavy language, which will give you those SD roles, I would recommend you to learn Java. So here it would seem that again, both of them have their own applications. So again, let's give them one each. And then finally, let's look at the salary trend. Now, let's say if you were talking about five years back or even 10 years back, then Java was huge in demand. It was the go-to language and it was one of the most widely used object-oriented programming languages in the world. And then if you are good in Java, your pay package or your salary used to be really high. But now in today's world, it would seem that Python is slightly overtaking Java. And that is also because of the versatile nature of Python. And also a lot of industries are, you know, they are shifting towards Python rather than Java because of its applications in DS, ML and AI. So if you're looking at a future proof language or a language for future, then well, you'd have to go with Python. And if you're looking at a language that is evergreen and basically you are looking at that as something currently used a lot, you can go with Java. So folks, this was our take on Java versus Python and hope this would help you to pick up your first programming language. So thank you very much and have a great learning ahead. I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy a free initiative by Great Learning. You can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion. Check out the link in the description of the video below. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you do not miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or suggestions and I'll respond to your comments.